Where are we off to, Aisha? We are off to, we think, uh, King's Cross. Kind of depends, as always, on whether there's any mooring there, but we are crossing our fingers. Um, so we are leaving the beautiful little mooring spot of Islington, one of my fave places to be. But because it is so beautiful, you're only allowed seven days here. So we're on the move after only a week. Um, to get to King's Cross, you've got to go through the Islington Tunnel. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that big old dark hole up there. So how, how's your um, stay in London so far compared to... It's uh, been great, actually. How, compared to the country, how's it um, been? Well, it's, it's apples and pears, isn't it? They're both different and they're both lovely in their own right. But I'm going to say sort of seasonally, I like being better in London. And spring and summer, I like being out in the country. But London's really nice. It's kind of lots of things going on this time of year. And it's been wonderful just reconnecting with friends and hanging out with people and being able to just jump on a tube and not have to pay ugh, like 15 quid to get in and out um, back to my boat. So that's been really nice. I've enjoyed it. Uh-oh, here we go. Awesome. So here we go. There we go. Alan's going in the tunnel for us. Does the light come on? Yeah, hopefully it will. Did it come on all right? Into the underground of London. Good night. 
got about two meters, three meters that side, so you can go over a little bit wide. coming out of that oh my god it's really weird it really kind of disorientates you coming into this tunnel yeah it's very odd it's fun all over the we are heading up to uh king's cross area now it's a lovely gray day today yeah this is still kind of islington around here yeah i think this is an council yeah. Oh, Corbin land, there. isn't it? Jeremy Corbin. Yeah, is it? Yeah, he lives uh, in Islington. I didn't or know he that. was an MP of Islington, wasn't he? Oh. We've uh, realised as voters we can actually vote. But you have to register for somebody of no fixed address. So that's us. But we're gypsies. Okay. Yeah, we actually have a banana vote. Yeah, right. Isn't that nice? Have you found in contrast to coming from the country, coming into London? Well, it was okay coming in, you know, through Tottenham Hill and up down that way. And then we went to Limehouse. That was all very interesting. But this is, it's, it's kind of one of those grey, cold, chilly days. It's not boating. Being outside on the boat isn't a lot of fun. It's climate. So, but I'm looking forward to being in Granary Square because there's lots of events there. Asia signaling to me. Just so I know the wind can blow you into the. Uh, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. So we've got a bit of wind as well. This is a windy spot, and we're coming up to a bit basin on our left. And by the way, King's Cross, there is a canal museum, oh, and yeah. I highly recommend that. And you can, they've got a model of a, a boater's cabin from Victorian Ooh. times there, so you, you get a good idea of the cramped conditions that Victorian boaters lived in. So what we're doing now is we're looking for a mooring space. I think the chance of getting a space right against the towpath is fairly limited, but it will we will have to double more. But let's see, we're just gonna keep going until we find a space. Okay. Or is that no, double. Is two double yeah. more? Is that one the other side? Yeah, what, Aisha, what's the case here? You can't find a... No. Uh, do you know, I think that's a first for us, actually, coming through the Islington Tunnel and um, up past King's Cross, which is where we've just been. Usually... Um, sorry, mascara's gone wet. Usually you get a mooring. Uh, I swear to goodness, uh, London is getting busier every year. So we have to go on. Which is the drive. So that's the case. You just have to move on when... There's yeah. no mooring spots, yeah, you, 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 can't, you can't turn around, can you? No. Because you can't, can't turn the boat around. There's no point turning around even if we could, because there's nowhere to go. So we're going to wait for our friends. Um, we're going to do, I don't know if you filmed this with us before, yeah, Zach, but we are going to go up the locks with another boat. So we've got some man coming with us. Just squeeze two narrow boats in. Will Amanda's push yours? Yeah. Okay, I see. So yeah, we're, there's a, this is a double lock entry here. You can see here. Everything gets a lot smaller in London. Oh yeah. The man of steel there is doing the locks again. Shots. 
certainly ate spinach. <laughs> These, by the way, were old Victorian gas domes. See what we're looking at here? So it's where gas for London was stored. Um, and what they did, it's actually a beautiful piece of design, I've got to say. Uh, they dug out the centre and built these flats in there. And it looks kind of beautiful, I think. Like when you're bumping against the engine. Not when it matters that much. Wow. Alright. Cheers, trip. guys. Thanks. 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 Yeah. Just walking off the canal while they're in the lock here just having a little look down here this is a residential basin in king's cross i think unfortunately their narrow boat is a little bit too large to get in there but what a lovely mooring spot tucked away around these huge offices and buildings but yeah I imagine that's quite a magical place to be. This will be over a grand a month. Wow. Do you want me to do a bit? Could do. I was going to put the kettle on. Yeah, tell us about that more, what's the mooring situation there? Well, we've had a give up on King's Cross. Uh, we were hoping to get a double mooring spot there, but it was absolutely jam-packed. So, um, we're moving on, we've gone through one lock, and we're moving on and looking for more mooring. Now, we're coming up to a little bit more here. This is not quite the centre, it's very popular at Granary Square very close to Google. Um, yeah, I can. I just... Sorry. I'm pretty sure you will. Maybe our nose sticks out a bit, but they're triple moored anyway. Right, parking in London on a boat is not easy. Could do, I was going to put the kettle on. Well, just Any looking. mooring around here? Is that a mooring spot? Uh, double moored against this one. Right. So, Amanda, tell us just a little brief summary of yourself. Um, I've had quite a long career yeah, as an aid worker and um, I lived with, in the house of a woman who was absolutely fantastic and unfortunately she died. I had to find somewhere to live with the cats, we love the cats, um, that was affordable and that wasn't possible in London. So I decided to go looking for a boat. Don't ask me how, these are all quite convoluted ways of doing it. I was told not to buy the first boat I saw. Madge, as we call her, is was the first boat I saw, but I did see 20 boats. And then I bought Madge because she was bright, she had large windows, and it was a blank canvas for me so I can create what I want out of a place to live if that makes any sense. Brilliant. I've been on the canal for 43 days this time and I love it. It's, there's, it's a whole different way of life. I bought the boat in one place and I moored it in for the first place that I moored and the train journey between the first and the second one was seven minutes. To get to the second place where we did moor up was an hour and a half. So the pace of life is just... I don't know, there's something about it that is great. Fantastic, awesome. And just, so as a single woman, as yeah. a, on your own, yeah. how, how do you find being on the canal safety-wise and, you know, how do you feel? I have had no issue at all. It's been only 43 days. I've heard a lot of um, bad things about what happens in London on the canals. I have not experienced it. I have found that all the boaters are very supportive and they're fab, they're just lovely. Um, and just accommodating and understanding that, you know, I've only been back on the canals at 43. Um, and, you know, even things like the cats. Um, the cats are, they are so sweet. Whatever. Um, no, at the moment, touch wood. No, I'm, I have no uh, security issues. I am, I'm conscious of security and I lock things up and, you know, I don't leave anything out, etc. 
but no. Amazing. And um, yeah, uh, is there anything else you'd like to say? Because that's really fa fantastic what you just said, but like, um, anything else you want to add or you would like to say to anybody about your if life? If you're going to take a cat, <laughs> if you're going to take a cat on the canal, please take a kitten. My two are 10 and 11 and they hate me at the moment, but um, I'm sure they'll get used to it. Um, but yeah, to, to, to be fully au fait with the engine and all the noises that go with it, please take a kitten. Thank you. So yeah, where have you just come from guys? So we've just come through the Islington Tunnel and we were hoping we'd find a mooring spot the other side but it's been one of those days where we haven't got a spot. Uh, not surprising, it is London as we've said many times, it's getting increasingly busy. So we're not in the most beautiful place, we're kind of somewhere between King's Cross and Camden but to be honest folks if you're thinking about cruising in London get used to that. You've got to take the not so nice spots with the nice ones. We're a big community in an essentially small area on the canals here so if you're thinking about mooring in London or cruising in London be respectful of each other and keep moving and um, enjoy all the spots you know the yeah. fashionable ones and the not so yeah. great and I think really you find if you look carefully every spot you moor in even if it's not yeah. really beautiful it'll have something of interest mm. if you go and find it do a little bit of exploring and it is secret London this mm. you see this is not how most people experience London, and it's a bit magical. And we, we haven't been here yet, have we, at this particular spot? Really? No, Hi. no, never moored here before. I mean, it looks a bit ugly, but I'm curious to but find we're go and explore tomorrow. what else there is. Yeah, we will explore when it's lovely and sunny. Indeed. Find a little snuggly local pub. Yeah, that's that right. Bit, 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 bit Victorian pub? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>